Well, let's see. I think mines were placed by Rush because he has little red dots all over the map uh, to get the scouting of this. And I believe that the vultures skirted by at least one of those mines and were scouted. So Rush might at least know what's going on, might be able to prepare for it a bit. Okay, let's see this. The mine scouts the vultures, speedy vultures, that are grouping up for a big run-by. If they can get a run-by, this could be absolutely devastating to Rush, even with these tanks. Um, if you can get past the first two tanks, might be able to snipe the, uh, the second two tanks if he has mines, if he is researching mines at the moment, that would make this a much more effective attack, I think. But so far, Fantasy just hanging out for now. He has a lot of factories on the way. Meaning lots and lots and lots and lots of vultures. There's the armory for the ground upgrades. And now Fantasy does have the mines. And oh man, Rush, you better scan or something here. There's no way he's going to be able to micro against this many mines without scan. Luckily he does scan. Very good star scent from him, knowing the high ground area is very vulnerable. So he scans it and gets rid of most of the mines, I think. Awfully close to another couple, but he's microing against them, I think. Yes, A moves into them, so he finds them rather quickly. And he found another one, sniped it. Still using a scan to get rid of all the mines that Fantasy placed. Fantasy placed a lot of them, but here comes Fantasy trying to surround the tank, take out the tanks. Um, the, some other vultures, rush vultures, coming from the other side, but those being cleaned up as well. Lots and lots of vultures. This is so Fantasy. This is like, <laughs> this is 100% fantasy play right here. Nothing else but vultures. And you know, fantasy could win a game with nothing but vultures. But I have a feeling he'll have a couple tanks out soon. Yeah, he's got the machine shops on the way now. Three machine shops on factories. Which means he is going to work on tanks now. But I bet he could win this game with just vultures. I'd be able to wage, I would wage one Monopoly dollar on that. Alright. Let's take a look at what's going on. I see one tank already for Fantasy. Um, the mines placed outside of his own base, making sure he can clean up those. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he's been scanning, uh, looking at the high ground slivers, making sure he can get rid of the mines before he moves out with those tanks. Since the vultures don't drag the mines, they're the best for the mine clearing, of course. But now Fantasy is inside the middle. Working his way up. Oh, he's trying to get very close to these these tanks. He's lost a bunch of vultures, though, so yeah, he does get on the retreat. Now, he doesn't... I don't think he has the siege mode yet. He's going to have it soon, though. Now he's moving up. Now, I see no machine shop spinning, so he probably does have the siege mode ready to go. So he'll be able to hold his own um, against Rush as Rush is moving out. But there is a fantasy. He does have his barracks in to get the scout of that tank line. So he was able to take down, I think, one tank, maybe two, forcing Rush to retreat. But fantasy, oh, he's stuck. <laughs> oh, man. Fantasy is playing better than ever. Uh, runs in with the vultures, snipes the tank, and then runs out. Wow. Fantasy is amazing. And TVT especially. I uh, showed that in his game versus Flash in the Pro League Finals, as one commenter was talking about earlier. Alright, third command center on the way for Fantasy. Working on that third base, getting closer and closer, taking out two tanks, I think, using that uh, barracks to absolute maximum capacity here. Great. He's been doing some great scouting with this already. Well, you see the Goliath fending off. Um, Fantasy's evil scouting barracks at the moment, pushing forward now with a vulture that almost took down another tank. He was trying to do what he did earlier, uh, move in with the vultures to snipe a tank. Wasn't quite successful that time around, though. But Fantasy's still holding his own uh, with tanks coming in with some more reinforcements. And he's expanded at just the right time, because now Rush is going to start to outpace him a bit with his own third base, because he has the 12 o'clock up in mining. And 12 o'clock position up in mining, so Fantasy is going to be a tad behind. But Fantasy could, could definitely make up for that with uh, some excellent micro-engagements right outside that natural expansion, and the third base uh, for Rush. Let's see, I'm going to have to take a look at his tank line again, see just how many he has. He's trying to position his tanks in a sneaky location, being spotted though by Rush. So Rush got a few pot shots in on those tanks, but the tanks have kind of crawled themselves over to this position, making sure they can clear the way for any future attacks. And the uh, 
<laughs> the vultures, making sure they can clear the way for the vultures as they sneak up uh, to kill as many SCVs as they can. Not sure if they ended up laying any more mines or not. No, those were cleared out by Rush. So he is up on his anti-mine micro today, at least. Fantasy trying to get to that tank to repair it, but can't quite do it. Freaking map artifacts in the way. So I'll have to go down a bit to repair that tank. But okay, Fantasy moving up. More reinforcements and a Goliath. A couple of Goliaths alongside to get rid of the floating barracks. That could be a big pain at this stage in the TVT. You don't want your opponent to be able to have any scouting except for uh, scans. But you see Rush getting a bit of harassment now. Uh, some nice vulture harassment. Sniping as many SCVs as he can. He's getting a lot of SCV snipes. Yeah, sniping a couple more. That was a good handful of SCV snipes actually from Rush. But Fantasy, if he looked at that scan at that exact moment, he'll know that the dropship is on the way. He might be able to pre prepare his Goliaths, get them into position to intercept it. Alright, Fantasy not letting up. He is the one pushing this thing right now, um, and Rush is kind of on the defense. But the, if the dropship was not seen before, it's seen now. And so the uh, Wraith already coming up to intercept the dropship, so the dropship has to drop its payload, otherwise everything inside is going to die. Nice, nicely played there by Fantasy. He's going to get rid of all of those vultures, all the vulture, vultures going down before they can do any more. Um, oh, it's, it's sniping at the STVs earlier, but here comes a big attack from Rush, pushing himself forward, getting the vultures out front. And a fancy coming from the back with more reinforcement tanks. Might have positioned them just at the right place, coming in from the back with the vultures to do the mind drags into those troops. Now, I think that Fancy is actually going to take this engagement. He does take the engagement, and he has a couple of wraiths left. So even if the barracks burns down, which it looks like it's getting close to doing, uh, the wraiths will be in to get the vision of the tanks, which will give Fantasy a leg up. But Fantasy took that engagement, and he's already pushing his way up to the 12 o'clock position uh, to get rid of that. So, man, just a freaking expert play from Fantasy in the Solar Cell already. This is some of the best play I've seen from Fantasy in a while. And, uh, yeah, he seems to be just be getting better and better. Look at this. Just A moving in, not even sieging, making sure he'll be able to react to the, the mines being laid, I think. I think that is his plan. Scanning, making sure he can do this. A moving right up. Uh, the SCV is being pulled in to stop this, but nothing can stop fantasy today, it seems. Look at this. Crazy fantasy sieging up. Going to kill everything. There's everything just dying. Poor SCV. Look at that SCV. He just wanted to be friends. He's like, yeah, yeah, I want a hug. Does not get a hug. Instead, he gets blown to smithereens. <sighs> Sorry, man. The fancy right outside the natural expansion, leaving himself a great path to the 12 o'clock. That is what he wanted to do, secure a path to the 12 o'clock so he can harass it easily uh, without the rush doing anything about it. And here come the vultures, laying mines right next to that tank. A tank there, a couple of SCVs going down next to that. More SCVs on, go down to the mines being dragged into the tank. Here comes a drop ship. I'm going to try to do something about this, dropping tanks. But uh, yeah, forced to pick up those tanks because there's nothing he can do against uh, these position tanks. Trying to drop on top of them. But Fantasy seems that luck is on his side today, coming in with vultures at just the right time to continue the harassment of that 12 o'clock. But here comes Rush now, uh, trying to lay some mines next to the grouping of tanks from Fantasy. But look at this anti-mine uh, <laughs> micro there. Rush just overwhelmed. GG! Spectacular play from the I Love UV disciple. I would not be surprised if Fantasy made it to the finals with a play like that. All right, says Manuk, let's move on to Group Z.